Hey you going everybody again? Alright. I'm starting to work out what I'm going to do with this floor. As you can see it's been patched up. Um, yeah. Quite, well I wouldn't say poorly but just strangely. Um, so it's had this plate. Let's see if I can see it here a closer. It's had this plate put in here, but it's also had another tunnel section put in it, um, which I've mentioned earlier. And I was right, it is out of another car, it's not something that somebody's made up, it's it's come from another type of vehicle. Um, I'm guessing, I'm not 100% sure on this, but I'm guessing it's come from the holding that the shifter and the motor and the trans come from, that they'd grafted into this to get it running again, um, or oh, whatever it was in 2013 or 11 or whatever it was, um, I'm guessing it's holding just with the colour, um, I don't know, but um, yeah, so I'm just trying to decide what I'm going to do with this floor, so I'm just trying to get all this rubber coating off, um, so it's like rubber coating to put on everything, just to seal it all up. Um, but they've obviously painted on there and as it sort of goes on wet and I guess it just turns into a, like a rubber matting. Which is probably not a bad thing but it probably should have been rust treated first or something. But um, I'm, I'm just in two minds of what to do because it's, I don't know whether the tunnel's wide enough to accept the um, the cross of trans. Um, I've got the trans there, but I, you know, and I can probably take a few measurements and just make sure it is going to fit. Because I'm in two root minds whether I can get this other floor plan from um, the, the mainland and cut this section back out and replace all this and and sort of that part of the tunnel and just a little bit of the floor on the side where they've chopped it all out. Um, or whether I just leave it like this and try and make this a bit tidier and put in another piece of flooring in here and actually put some ribs in it so it's not so um look it's actually not bad like it's not oil canning or anything but I just would like to put some strengthening ribs in it or something and then tidy it up from the underside because it's just the way they've joined it all together it just looks ugly if you want to have a nice clean car um, so yeah, I just, I can't just, I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. Um, I don't want to hack all this out and then go, oh shit, you know, I shouldn't have done that. But I just, I'm still in two minds what to do and how to do it. Because I don't want it to be ugly and I don't, because um, I am thinking about taking this car back to New Zealand in a few years time. Once, you know, got it on the road and, because um, we'd like to go back over home eventually. And I'd quite like to take this back. So, like, I don't want to get it back over there and then they go, oh, you got to repair this properly. You know, like, you cut, you got to cut this whole section out and put another bloody floor piece in it to get it registered over there. Like, I don't want that to happen. I'd rather fix it now and nobody know than get it over there and everybody goes, oh, well, that's been, you know, patched up and that's not strong enough and this isn't right and because they are quite fussy with that sort of stuff. I know there's been a lot of cars come from the States to New Zealand and they've said no you got to repair this properly and you got to do this and you got to do that and guys you know they've bought nice looking cars they've had to cut you know half the bloody floor out and replace them and do repairs that have just been sort of done I don't know just not up to the level of what New Zealand expects I suppose um, for that sort of stuff they are pretty pretty tough on that sort of thing it's not right they don't like it um, so yeah, that's what I'm sort of in two minds what I should do. Because this is all the original bit of floor up here, all that all that's all original. Um, and I think I think this is original here, but it, it's been replaced through there obviously where it's been welded. Um, so yeah. It's just 
yeah, it's a hard, tough thing to know what to do. You know, I could probably cut these joins and and put the joins better together and weld them up better and grind it off properly and make it look a lot better. Or do I get the other floor and and be done with it and chop it where it needs to be joined and just join it and grind it all back and make it look clean and smooth and like it should have been. It's a bit of a tough one. So anyway, I'll keep cleaning this bloody shit off this floor and see what I'm working with and um, decide what I'm, I am going to do. So I'll get back to you later on, I guess. Cheers.